Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is March the 13th of 2023. Good morning to you, and it is a pleasure to be back on the air of Coffee with Pastor. As you probably noticed last week, I'll all of the episodes with Coffee with Pastor were pre-recorded, and the reason I did that is I took a trip to California, and we were at the Shepherds Conference in California, had a glorious time, and we are thrilled. We are thrilled to be back today. Um, this is Coffee with Pastor. I've got my hot cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to Job chapter 38, the book of Job and chapter 38. So, Again, good morning to you. Take the opportunity to open your copy of the Word of God. Uh, follow along with us as we read, and uh, we certainly would appreciate that. Let's turn our attention to the bad dad joke. What do you do if attacked by a clan of clowns? What do you do if you're attacked by a clan of clowns? You go for the juggler. There we go. So we'll put that aside. Um, let me just make a couple of comments. Last week was a phenomenal week. It really, really was. Um, blessed by the preaching of the Word of God. Some amazing, amazing preaching. And early mornings, late nights, um, enjoying the conference out there. Um, today, my agenda is basically get caught up, get some rest. And um, we'll see how the day unfolds. But I trust that today that you're planning on God using you. And I'm hoping that God uses me as well. It is 9 o'clock. I'm already out of time. And so we'll go ahead. We'll bow our heads before our Heavenly Father and ask His blessing upon this tremendous, tremendous day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, what a joy to be in your presence. Thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you that for all that you have done for us, meeting needs, giving us blessings that we could have never, never, never anticipated. Father, as we step into your presence this morning, we thank you and we praise you today for who you are. We stop and we reflect upon your holiness, righteousness, and justice. And Father, we say thank you. To stop and to realize that there is indeed justice. There is indeed righteousness, holiness. A standard that we can embrace and realize that, that those things are embodied in you. Father, I also want to say thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace. Because we ourselves know that we cannot be holy and just and righteous. But because you loved us, you sent your Son to be our righteousness. You sent your son to pay the penalty for our sins. That we might be reconciled to you. Father, we just say thank you. Lord, help us to constantly, each and every day, live in light of these truths. Make of us what you would have us to become. Do the work, continue that work today, and may we as your people be faithful. Seeking to serve you, seeking to do your bidding, seeking your honor and your glory. And Father, as we ask your blessing upon your people, as we serve you, we ask your blessing upon this day. We ask your blessing upon the reading of your word. Mold us, Father. Make us what you would have us to be. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. The book of Job, chapter 38, and the Lord begins his answer. Let's read. 
Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched up the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Or who shut up the sea with doors when it brake forth as if it had issued out of the womb? When I made the cloud the garments thereof and the thick darkness a swaddling band for it and brake up for it my decreed place and set bars and doors and said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further. And here shall thy pride, proud waves be stayed. Hast thou commanded the morning since the, thy days, and caused the day spring to know his place? That it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. And from the wicked their light is withholden, and the high arms shall be broken. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea, or hast thou walked in the search of the depths? Have the gates of death been opened unto thee, or hast thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Hast thou perceived the breath of the earth? Declare if thou knowest it all. Where is the way where light dwelleth? And as for darkness, where is the place thereof? that thou shouldest take it to the bound thereof, and that thou shouldest know the paths to the house thereof. Knowest thou it, because thou wast then born, or because the number of thy days is great? Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow, or hast thou seen the treasures of hail, which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? By what way is the light parted, which scattereth the east upon the earth, east wind upon the earth? Who hath divided a watercourse for the overflowing of waters, or a way for the lightning of thunder, to cause it to rain on the earth, where no man is, on the wilderness, wherein is no man? to satisfy the desolate and the waste ground, and to cause the bud of the tender herb to spring forth. Hath the rain a father? Or who hath begotten the drops of dew? Out of whose womb came the ice and the hoary frost of heaven? Who hath tendered it? The waters are hid as with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. Canst thou bind the sweet influence of Pleiades, or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Mazaroth in his season, or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? Canst thou lift up thy voice to the clouds, and the abundance of water cover thee? Canst thou send lightning, that they may go and say unto thee, Here we are? Who hath put wisdom in the inward parts, or who hath given understanding to the heart? Who can number the clouds in wisdom, or who can stay the bottles of the heaven? When the dust groweth into the hardness, and the clods leave fast to look together, Wilt thou hunt the prey for the lion, or fill the appetite of the young lions, when they couch in their dens and abide in the, the, co con the covert to lie in wait? Who provided for the raven and its food, when his young ones cry unto God, 
they wander for lack of meat. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Beloved, I trust you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful day today. As we were reading the scriptures and God is coming back to Job and striking back, if you will, at some of the self-righteousness that Job had begun to develop through this whole process. Where were you? And he talks about many of the wonders of nature. You know, and I'm not a real big fan of science, but true science has opened the door on some of the things of which God is speaking. And we've learned more about the lightning and the snow and the, all of those things. What amazes me is that the more we know, the more we know we don't know. And more and more questions and all of these things, although we know more than Job did. We realize that there is so, so much more that God has prepared, literally and truly. Nature, the heavens, declare the glory of God. Beloved, have a great day. And as we try to tell you each and every day, be faithful. Be faithful to God. Never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel. Go out there and glorify the Almighty in your life. I trust you're going to have a great day. I trust you are blessed. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.